Sorry guys. I'm going to sing a song I sung before. Because I've just re released a new album. Including this one in it. So in celebration, I'd like to sing the songs again. And talk about them, of course, as I like to do. And maybe we'll get a new variation. It's all always fresh. You can sing the same song a thousand times. And if it is sung well, then it's always an expression of this moment and the energy that is flowing through this moment. Not just the same song as we always sing. And then I'll explore the other songs as well. We can see what we can find. This song is a love song for the divine. As are most of the songs in this album, this new album, it's called Songs of the Dawn. And they're translations of uh, songs of a spiritual master in Bengali, Prabhat Sarkar. just as negative emotion as any other emotion. In fact, you know, everything is love. There is, there is nothing else. So all of the problems that you see in the world are also built out of love. If somebody is being greedy, it's because they love food. If somebody is being selfish, it's because they love themselves. If somebody is nationalistic and against the other nations, it's because they love their own nation. Everything comes out of love. So just having love doesn't necessarily make things good. What makes things good is the expansion of the love. Expanding the circle of that love to the whole universe. It's a phase that people go through. They discover the love of God and the universe. It's quite an advanced phase, of course. When your meditation becomes powerful and intense and ecstatic. It's not the final phase, though. We move on from there. 
it's about personal relationships. That intensity of love is also not the final phase and it's not the place where effective happy relationships are built. They're built out of connection, out of oneness and out of sharing, being happy together. together in our meditation and can we be happy together in the world my dear is dear let me stay near my dear is dear let me stay near So that's the first song in the album. I think it's the first song in the album. I don't remember. It's the first song that I wrote and uh, performed of these songs. You can find the album on the power of oneness.bandcamp.com. I don't think it has a the power of oneness.bandcamp.com. I send a link down the bottom if you're interested. And uh, you can also have a look at what else is happening in my website and podcast and all of the other things that are going on. I'm launching some really interesting courses at the moment. A course in the Complete Awakening Journey to help you find your spiritual enlightenment and discover oneness, take you through all of the different layers of the mind. And um, also working on a course the secrets of ecstatic relationships for people to deal deal with their relationship issues and more coming soon starting to get kind of inspired and finding my way around here um, it's been a, a difficult journey to find where do I belong in the world and where do I belong in the online world even even more difficult but starting to find something and I think that, well, there's a lot of keys we can talk about in terms of how we find ourselves. Maybe we can talk about that in the, in the next video. Finding ourselves is a trick, but it's, a, it's an important one. Bye for now. <laughs>